All right, YouTube. This is a follow up to the Acer Aspire 5252 V333 video. And what I did is I upgraded the processor on it and I had a problem. What the problem was? Well, when I installed the memory back, one of the right here, the actual I guess sticker folded over into the memory slot and was causing it not to uh, recognize the memory. So that was that's what that problem was. But since I got to go ahead and re um, reinstall the processor, to, um, I'm going to just show you what I did to uninstall um, the body of the laptop and whatnot. Removed all the bottom screws, which should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's four along the bottom here in the battery tray and then the rest you can obviously see on the outside of the tray there is a couple a couple inside here let me get my screwdriver there's one right here that you can miss it's right up under the memory slot take that one out and from there you just remove the screws out here. They're labeled like 5L. Pretty easy to see. Okay, it's a few of them. And just remove all cables. And then just basically just pop it out. And this sounds like cheap plastic popping out. But that's just, that's just how it is on clipping. Mine's coming apart a little easier than yours might just because, um, for one, I took this thing apart so many times, troubleshooting it. All right. I forgot one of the cables right here. So I just pulled that apart, and there you go. That part's off. Top part's off. And there is one screw holding the board down, and it's right here. Actually, I already took that apart. So I'm going to... Take this cable right here, don't hook the USB ports. It's right there. And after that, it'll basically come out. It comes out at an angle. But you have to move the VGA port. You have to basically bend the side so you can get this VGA port out. And once you do that, you just kind of tilt it and bend bend this out. You gotta put a little pressure on it. Just bend it out. And it'll come out like that. All right. I'll hook the uh, power cable at the bottom here. It's right there. And then you got the fan, heatsink fan, right here. You got a cord. It says right on top of the board, so it's easy, easy to spot. And I am gonna leave the wireless cables alone because I have just a hell of a time putting them back on. And a lot of times I end up calling my wife. And if you watch any of my other previous YouTube videos, you see I kind of leave them on because I just, I don't have little tiny itty bitty fingers. And, um, if I did, I'd be some, I'd be a force to be reckoned with. I can tell you that right now, but I just, I don't have them. I don't have them damn little fingers. I got these mon monsters right here and, um, they don't work that well for me. I'll tell you that right now. So I leave the wireless wireless cables on because out of everything, that that be the one thing that gives me the most problem. So I just uninstall the old processor here, and I'm gonna show it to you. It's the V140 or something like that, and I'm gonna put the new one on. And this is the offline. X Appline 2. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It's the Appline 2 P320 processor. So I'm gonna put this on and you just line it up as, as you would do any other processor. gonna put my thermal paste on right here they had that that old 
they had a ton of thermal plates. What I use is this here, the little brush. It's on it. It's great because I don't have to sit here and use a credit card to get a nice, even, smooth layer. I could just put this on and get a nice layer so the heat will transfer really nicely. I love this stuff. It's a tad bit expensive, but so is the Arctic Freezer 5 Pro or whatever it is, which was another one of my favorites, which I do keep on hand also, but I tend to use this one here because it gives me give me that uniform application with ease and quickness and that's what I'm about. I really don't have a lot of time to dick around with too much of this stuff so I need something that's going to go on quick fast and in a hurry and that works best for me. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back on. And they actually have numbers here, one, two, three, four. You can follow the numbers or you can just put them on whichever way you like. But when you tighten them, do your last tighten. I guess it is recommended that you do tighten them in that order. I kind of always go cross corner from each other when putting these screws back on usually so it's not really that big of an issue for me so and I apologize beforehand if I'm mumbling I am so freaking tired I'm working on little or no sleep just wanted to get this video uploaded to help you guys because I, I love seeing the videos that you guys post doing the same thing and I know the effort and work involved in doing just a simple video I know it could be very time consuming but I just wanted to get this just to show you guys it work but I would I would do this stuff even in my sleep because I just enjoy doing it. I love it just that much. I know that sounds geeky, but it is what it is. I get a freaking hard on from doing this stuff. It's just a lot of times I'm working on like 30 hours of no sleep and I just get the mumbling and running I think so if you can bear with that go watch me do some pretty neat stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up these cables now hooked I'm moving fairly quick um, I'm figuring most of you guys probably got a good idea how to do this already I just want to really show you that it's it's doable and just to give you a brief idea of how how I went about doing it I'm I'm of course I'm a little rough with this laptop and the reason why is because um for one it's my laptop so I'm not I'm, I I really don't care you know I got a super duper warranty on this thing through Square Trade, so it's like it's not that big of a deal. And plus, I didn't freaking took this thing apart so many times that I could do it in my sleep almost. And yeah, like I said, it was just one screw holding the motherboard on. Not fancy. Not fancy dancing. I actually got this laptop if probably like the same way you guys got your laptop. At least I hope it's the same way you guys got your laptop. Best Buy had a special for like 
280 for this thing um, during um, the holidays. And um, I jumped all over it, knowing what I was going to do, which was upgrade this processor. So. I'm on a rush to beat the clock here because I'm trying to beat this 15 minutes limit I got to upload videos, which is nice because at first I only had 10 minutes. So I got YouTube to thank for that. So here we go. Now, this is with the new processor, the P320. As you can see right here. Or well, you can't see. P320. Gonzo just walked in the middle of my video. You about to be on YouTube, brother. Hmm. Two gigs around. Might as well say what's up now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Again, that's Robert with GenXComputers.com. Thanks.